Have you ever felt swamped by the myriad of choices in music distribution? You're not alone. In this ever-evolving world of music, keeping up with distribution options is a challenge. Today, we're diving into one such key player, DistroKid, a service I've been using since 2021. Yes, it's true, DistroKid increased their prices, affecting all subscription tiers, with an increase between 11% and 15%. For instance, the musician plan is now $22.99 per year, up from $19.99. The price increase happened sometime in late December 2023, early January. January 2024. Existing users with active subscriptions like myself at the time of the increase are not affected and will continue to pay the original price until their respective renewal dates. But here's what you need to know. The core price might still be affordable, but watch out for several costs that users often overlook. DistroKid is the leading choice for artists that want a simple and fast music distribution service to release and collect royalties for original tracks and cover songs. Although the core price is affordable, there are several costs that users dislike. I've used this kid to release music since 2021 and have tested the Musician Plus plan myself, so I have some first-hand experience in knowing if DistroKid is legit and really worth it for similar size indie artists. So here are DistroKid's pros and cons for artists, managers, and labels. You have low annual fees, fast and limited song uploads, and they don't take a cut of your earnings. It's easy to collaborate and share royalties, and a super simple cover song licensing is the way to go. Now some of the cons for DistroKid. Staying subscribed to keep your music online, additional costs, and what some users have described as subpar customer support. Now, if you're considering signing up for DistroKid, I've got a special offer for you. Use my referral link in the description to get a 7% discount on your DistroKid subscription. Not only does it help the channel out, but it also gives you a bit of savings to kickstart your music distribution journey. But how trustworthy is DistroKid? Well, DistroKid has earned a reputation for being trustworthy within the music distribution industry. It's known for its affordable pricing, straightforward services, and the transparency of its business practices. The main reason that over 2 million and artists use and trust DistroKid is that they were one of the first distribution platforms to move from a pay per upload model to an unlimited annual fee model. And although over 2 million artists trust DistroKid as a pioneer in shifting from pay per upload to a flat annual fee, there are three things worth noting. Many DistroKid users have reported concerns about unexpected fees and customer support that doesn't meet their expectations. Several other distribution companies have adopted the same unlimited uploads model as DistroKid at cheaper prices and without the extra paid features. And thirdly, DistroKid increased their prices. The bottom line is DistroKid is a great music distributor that is trusted by over 2 million artists. So this is what it's like to upload music to DistroKid. DistroKid is a music distribution service that launched in 2013 that lets artists upload their music to streaming services like Spotify and collects any royalties from when their music is streamed. To get started with DistroKid, the first thing you need to do is create an account and choose a plan. DistroKid's pricing is advertised to be monthly, but it's actually billed annually. Next, all you need to do is click upload in the navigation bar and complete the simple form. You then input your artist or band name and DistroKid will even create your Spotify artist profile if you are new to releasing music online. The rest of the music distribution form is extremely straightforward with DistroKid, including lots of tips and additional info as you input your song name, release date, and other track information that's pretty standard, as well as upload your audio file and artwork. Now, some of the benefits of using DistroKid. The main benefit of using DistroKid is that you get fast and unlimited song uploads for a small annual fee without DistroKid taking a cut of your revenue. And that really sums up the benefits of using DistroKid. They get the basics so right by providing a fast, simple, and reliable music distribution service at an affordable price. In my experience, I've had songs appear on Spotify in less than two days with the most being around, you know, less than a week, maybe three or four days. It's actually super awesome how fast DistroKid gets your music distributed. DistroKid cover song licensing also allows you to easily distribute cover songs without having to track down, obtain, and manage the appropriate cover licenses all by yourself. For instance, when I released my cover of You Gotta be, it was a breeze. Personally, I've also benefited from how easy DistroKid makes it to release and share royalties for collaborative tracks or efforts and albums, thanks to their DistroKid splits feature. So what are the downsides to DistroKid? Well, the main downsides to using DistroKid are that they have too many extra paid features according to the internet. <laughs> and although these downsides are easy to get around, I want to take some time to go over the most common downsides, at least at a reference, to using DistroKid so you can have the smoothest music distribution experience possible. Let's explain some of these quote-unquote hidden fees. 
because one of the biggest complaints that are raised against Distro Kid is a concern with hidden fees. And although the reality is that Distro Kid doesn't have any hidden fees and does not charge you extra to get your music released, there are three specific things all artists should be aware of. There may be standard bank fees, taxes, and PayPal transfer fees that you may need to pay for when you withdraw your money from DistroKid. That's pretty standard across a lot of the platforms and a cost of doing business. You need to be on the Musician Plus plan to be able to set a release date for your music, which I think is a non-negotiable if you want to effectively market your music in advance. And third, DistroKid has several extra paid add-ons that they will upsell you on when you are submitting your music for distribution. I personally don't use the vast majority of these features and don't recommend that any pay for most of these extra add-ons, but I can definitely see how anyone can be upset that DistroKid chooses to charge extra for these services when other music distributors do not. They're just included. At times, I've used the Leave a Legacy feature and that has caveats that we won't get into in this video and the Title Max badge feature. For the YouTube content ID, I already have that feature built into my account on SongTrust. And for the Store Maximizer feature, I just go into my DistroKid account and manually add the songs to the new stores as they come online. It really just takes a few seconds. I highly recommend artists choose DistroKid's Musician Plus plan for its custom release date feature, which really helps with music promotion for just a slightly higher cost. However, I also recommend that artists avoid adding on any of DistroKid's paid extra services features that are not absolutely necessary for your situation. This will make sure that you're distributing your music for the best possible value. Popular alternatives to a music distribution service like DistroKid include Symphonic Music Distribution, TuneCore, and the OG in the game, CD Baby. DistroKid versus Symphonic. Although I personally use DistroKid for my past releases and still recommend DistroKid for many artists, it is also worth your time to have a look at what else is out there and make your own comparisons. For instance, in this video here, I recommended Symphonic Music Distribution if I were just starting out today and didn't already have an established presence on a different distributor. And I dive into detail on why that is, but at a high level, it's just packed with so many included features. DistroKid versus TuneCore. Comparing TuneCore with DistroKid is a much different beast since TuneCore has plans available that are much more competitive with DistroKid. Although not all of TuneCore's plans offer the best value, I would highly recommend TuneCore's Rising Artist Plan because it gives artists everything that they need to succeed in 2024 and beyond. TuneCore's founder has actually even said positive things about DistroKid. DistroKid is simply the best distributor in the market, said Jeff Price via Twitter, and that's the founder of TuneCore. DistroKid versus CD Baby. CD Baby has been around for a very long time, having been first founded in 1998. They first started in physical music distribution, like actual physical CDs, and were one of the first big companies to provide digital music distribution. In my opinion, CD Baby is a great choice if you don't mind slicing off a fraction of your royalties. With their newest pricing plan, you can release an album or a single for $9.99 with no subscription fees. That's right, you can release a single or an album for the same price for life. That includes YouTube content ID being distributed to over 150 stores, and that also includes non-music streaming platforms such as Shazam, as well as Billboard Nielsen SoundScan, which is the organization that tracks all music sales and streams to determine if a song has gone platinum, for example. They also get your songs on social media platforms and consider your song for play listing, among other features like helping you claim your YouTube official artist channel, but they do take a 9% commission or cut of your royalties on the back end, so keep that in mind. I've noticed some repeating concerns about DistroKid, particularly regarding their price hack in late 2023 and the extra fees. While these issues are significant, they don't overshadow the platform's overall benefits. We just have to look at the bigger picture. DistroKid stands as a trusted and efficient music distributor used by over 2 million artists, yet be mindful of its fees and customer service limitations. So whether it's DistroKid, Symphonic, or another service, choose a platform that aligns with your music goals. And if you want to dive deeper on my DistroKid versus Symphonic Music Distribution comparison, click or tap the screen right here. Until next time, continue using your talents for good. I love the simple things when I wake up in